Unlike online search engines like Google, the library has different searching systems for different types of resources. In this video, we'll be looking at one of the library's databases, Business Source Ultimate. Instead of starting in one search, we often recommend students start in a database, especially if they're in the beginning stages of their research and haven't fully decided upon a scope or focus for their assignment. When doing research for a business or marketing class, we recommend students start in Business Source Ultimate. A full list of the library's databases can be found in the Articles and Databases tab. If you click on the Databases by Subject option, you'll see Business Source Ultimate is the second option in the Popular Databases box on the left of the screen. Business Source Ultimate is a database that focuses on resources about business, marketing, management, accounting, finance, and economics. In addition to several thousand peer-reviewed journals, it also contains market research reports, industry profiles, SWOT analyses, country reports, and many other types of resources. It is a great starting point for almost any business or marketing research project. To connect to the database, click on the name of the database. If you're off campus, you'll be asked to log in at this point before you can proceed to the database. On the initial database page you land on, you can enter your keywords and phrases right away and then hit search and see what results you get. You can also set some limits on this initial page, including finding only peer-reviewed or academic resources, setting a date range, or searching for a specific publication or document type. These limiting options are also available on your results page. Let's say you're doing an assignment about a Canadian company and you've chosen the Four Seasons hotel chain. When we search in the library's databases, it's important to remember to use only keywords or phrases, not full sentences or questions. Luckily, because we're looking up a company name, we can just try putting that name in the search box and seeing what comes up. I can see that I have several thousand results. As I scroll through the first few articles, I'm looking at the article titles and the subjects listed. These will give me clues as to if I'm using the correct vocabulary and if my results are related to my topic. Looking through the listed subjects, I see the Four Seasons proper company name, and I'm going to copy and paste that into my search box. I'm aware that in addition to being a company name, Four Seasons also has other meanings and I don't want random results about summer or winter in my list of results. Now that I'm down to a more manageable number of results, I can continue to modify my search terms or I can set some limits on my search first. On the left side of the screen, there is a limit to menu. Using this menu, I can limit my results to peer reviewed, refereed, or scholarly resources. Check this box if your assignment requires academic articles. If I choose this limiter right now, you'll see that my list of results decreases substantially. This is very common as there aren't often academic articles written only about one company. If you need academic research for a business assignment, consider looking at an industry or type of company instead of focusing only on one company. I'm going to take the peer-reviewed limiter off and look at our other options. You'll see that we can limit to only articles the library currently holds in its collection by clicking on full text. Additionally, I can add a date range to my results list. If you're researching a more recent topic, like social media, for example, typically applying a five or even a 10 year range is a good idea. Below the limit to menu, there are a list of source types where you can limit your results to resources from only trade publications or industry profiles or any of the options available. As you do your research and find articles that you may want to look at further, be sure to add them to a folder which you can then email to yourself. To find out more information about an article, you can click on its title. 
to connect to its record. In an article's record, you'll find the information you need to cite the article and an abstract that gives an overview or a description of what the article is about. In Business Source Ultimate, you'll also see a list of North American industry classification system codes that are used to classify businesses in order to collect and analyze data about them. If you click on one of these codes, you'll be led to a list of resources that all contain that particular code. In the record, you'll also see some database tools, including print, email, and site. The database generated citation can be a good starting point for your citation, but please remember that your citations are your responsibility and you must ensure that they are correct before handing them in. For more citation resources, please check out the library's Cite Your Sources page. One last tool you can find in this database is the AskAway widget. AskAway is our virtual reference service, and when it is open, you can simply type into the chat box where it says type here to chat, and a librarian will answer you within about 60 seconds. If AskAway is closed, its hours will be displayed in the box. Please don't hesitate to use AskAway as your librarians are always happy to help you with your research. The Douglas College Library has millions of resources for you to use for your Douglas College courses, many of which you can access online from your home. Please check out our videos and tutorials for more detailed instructions or contact a librarian for help.